Morning guys, so a really quick intro to this video, but Deep Space have sent me a brand new tune for the Seeker 35. So we're out here at the side of the bando. We're not gonna fly over the bando with it because it is completely inaccessible and we need to know if this tune is any good before we start to risk it. But uh, yeah, let's cut to some footage. Well, let's cut to beta flight first. I'll show you how to apply it. Once we've done that, we'll come back to me here uh, in the future after being in the past and I'll show you what it looks like uh, also stay tuned because we have a um, argument with the security guard in the bando coming up in this video piece a few days ago I received an email from deep space telling me that they'd updated the CLI file for the seeker 35 and that I might want to consider using it as it offers a little bit more performance but if I didn't want to it's not a problem and I figured I've been really busy over the past few days but now is the time to give it a go so I'm going to walk you through the process of how to do it and once we've done that we'll actually take it out to the field and see if we can feel any difference I'd be very surprised if we can because it flies so so well but it's basically just an update to the tune everything else should in theory stay the same so let's have at it so what we're going to do first of all is i'm just having a quick visual look around just to remember where things are i'm not recording the screen and, and just staying on here for a second uh in case it uh, applies the wrong settings no 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 right so what we're going to do first of all is go to presets and we're going to save the preset that we currently have on the drone and it's going to ask you what you want to call it and we'll just kind of leave it at that and we'll save it to the desktop okay now go back into presets I'm going to load back up and I'm going to go to the desktop and the one that I've downloaded, I've actually downloaded twice, so it's this one. So it's Seeker DC 04 Pro GPS ELRS TBS 4.4.31 and just click open. And that will then apply all the settings that Deep Space have changed. And like I say, I own, from what I understand, it is just a, a bit of a tweak of the tune. So it should in theory fly even better than what it already flies and like it already flies really really well so we'll find out so i'm just going to very quickly look in the port section make sure that everything is where it should be and just make sure the motors are still set to props out it is literally just a just a change in here so this is what's been updated okay so what we'll do is we'll head out to the field now and uh, we'll give it a test and we'll give our honest opinion as to whether you can feel a difference and if you can how much better or worse it actually is let's freaking go i have just noticed something when going through this just to double check it i thought everything was okay but actually what it hasn't done is it hasn't copied over my modes now my receiver is still exactly as it was the pid tuning it obviously has been updated the rates have been changed as well so bear that in mind gps is still working uh, osd is that going to be a little bit different the osd is and has been put back to factory default as well so there is a few other things that we are going to have to change in here we need flight distance i'm going to remove home distance because we don't need it we don't add rssi because i don't think that was actually on the original one I'll we'll add link quality on the other side. In fact, we'll put them together just so it's a little bit easier to read. We don't need this fly mode. And I don't bother with full voltage. I'll just go off cell voltage. And then we'll have... Change it to British. And we will go with altitude. When I can see it. There we go. And we'll slide that one in there. And throttle position is another good one. So it lets us know. And we can go with efficiency as well if we want. It just shows us how much we, we pull in at whatever throttle that we're at. So it gives us an idea. We don't have the old value from the old tune. So we're not going to pay too much attention to it. But it's just something that's a bit uh, different. <clears throat> now, learn to press the right buttons. Okay, so... What I'm going to need to do here now is GPS rescue. Position hold. GPS rescue. Oh no, something's gone tragically wrong. GPS rescue. Oh no, something's gone tragically wrong. I'm going to need a pre-arm because it's a success and that goes without saying. And we'll add launch control, but it's quite slippy outside, so. But you guys love launch control. And I think that is all we need to add. 
we'll add turtle mode. So let's just double check what we've got. We've got an arm, which has changed. Pre-arm. We've got turtle mode. We've got launch control. So that's all the changes that we need to make to this now. Um, everything should now be absolutely fine, but there's only one way to find out, and that is to go to the field and rip this baby around. Let's freaking go. Go. Am I back on the thing? Nope. Yeah. Oh! Oh. Yeah, I'll come and talk to you. Just unplug it, mate. Okay. This will go in just in case. Unplug it, I can't do it. Wait. Oh, just turn off the control. I'm gonna keep recording. Just to be safe. Yeah, you do that and I'll turn that yeah, off. Yeah, I'm just going to... You alright, fella? Yeah. So, what it is... Yeah, no, I completely get your concerns, which is why I want to come and talk to you. I've been flying over this side because I'm a professional uh, drone pilot. Okay. I'm a YouTuber. So everything right. I fly over here gets put onto YouTube anyway. Okay. So I'd be incriminating myself right. if anything ever happened. Um, but I've been flying for 10 years. Right. The airspace is completely clear. So I, I, like, I don't, I don't want to have yeah. the argument. I know, I know. Yeah. I don't want to have the argument with you guys like, oh, I'm allowed to fly yeah. I'm not like that. But... Yeah, I didn't perfect. have a care, but control just said, <coughs> speak to him, see, see what Yeah, no, know. it's cool, it's cool. And like I say, the thing is, you'll see me here yeah, uh, most, uh, most days, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and there's no problems. But I just want to come and clarify. I'm insured, I'm licensed, okay. I'm a YouTuber, and I've been doing it for 10 years. So. I just wanted to put your mind at rest yeah. that I ain't crashing into anything, mate. But That's great. If you could let me in so I could fly down the chimney, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I understand, like, because yeah. I saw on, the, on Facebook at the weekend, like, you've had people coming yeah. in ruining it. A stuff. lot, a lot of stuff. It's not yeah. what we're doing, mate. We, we've yeah. got no intentions to hit anything. You might see me dive down the chimney a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind. I've been seeing yeah. it for weeks. It's yeah. just they've told me now, so I'm like, yeah. okay, I yeah. feel like I have. I yeah, yeah, have no, to that's fine. Something. So, what have they said to tell you that I'm not allowed, or just to ask no, what I'm up to? to? Just to see what you're up to and then see the reason why, but I've got the reason why now. You're a YouTuber, Sorry, you know what I mean? It's that's not because that's, you're trying that's to break my YouTube. Into no, no, that's my YouTube. Right. So, okay. like, if you want to write it down, you, you're more than welcome to. There's an email on there okay. if you want to contact me. But I'm here most days and just That's come and speak to me. That's brilliant. Or, or shout yeah. me over, whatever. Yeah, yeah. have a great time. Yeah. It seems like you're having fun. Yeah, right? no worries, mate. You take it easy. Careful, yeah, yeah, not a problem at all, mate. Not a problem. You take it easy, buddy. As you can see, it was quite amicable once you realised that we wasn't up to anything nefarious. And I'd always recommend that you guys sort of speak to people in the same way. Just be open and honest with them. And generally speaking, most people are pretty cool about it. At first, he did say you can't fly here. And I said, well, hang on, let me come and speak to you. And, that's obviously what happened next. Okay, right, boy, I wonder, is there anybody coming up the path before I do this launch control? No, you are safe. So a few of you guys have asked how we do launch control. First of all, you've got to set it up on a switching beta flight like this. We've got a launch control. And then once you've done that, you enable your switch, you enable your pre-arm and you arm, and you're now in launch mode. If you look on the screen, it says launch zero. That's the angle that you're at. And we're just going to tilt forward until eventually we can go like this <laughs> and it just launches like a rocket now you don't have to turn the launch control switch off like i did in the other video you can't keep it on well, i'm guessing it just auto disables after you yeah it, it only sort of counts once you're actually sort of in launch status put the thing back in put the launch control uh, to answer the question though, Deep Space, yeah, this tune is actually a lot better. The drone feels a lot more alive. There was never a problem with the tune in the first place. But already, I can tell it feels a much, much better tune.
Look at that, that's beautiful. Keep watching for the path in case anybody comes around, won't you, boy, wonder. The road, not so much, just this path in front of me. Just... Oh, definitely we'll look out for the helicopter. Yeah, maybe the security from the police helicopters will attack us. Let's hope it's not an Apache. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's just a bell or something. Yeah, it won't be an Apache, not in the UK. Stunning, absolutely stunning. The more I fly this, the more I love it. I've had it for about a week and a half now. This is the first time I've flown it with this tune though. And uh, already there's a massive improvement. Having floats. Floats like crazy, doesn't it? Dirt bikes. Dirt bikes, but where are they? <laughs> this is such a good improvement to what was already at the back uh, the raised part at the back yeah I can see them ones thank you it's more this path near us that I'm worried about because it's in the shade and obviously I've got the camera settings for or I've got the camera set for the bright areas Yeah. No, I just realised, I think echoes like crazy. It does echo like crazy, doesn't it? Yeah. We've been flying for three minutes and ten seconds, fairly hard. There is people on the path coming behind us, but I wonder, may not be able to see them yet. Yep, not yet. But they are just over there, look. So we are uh, going to end this flight here, but we're at 3.7, 3.67 volts. <laughs> After three minutes and 30 seconds of pretty hard ripping and a couple of uh, power takeoffs. We had to stop after the first one because security wanted to speak to us. But all things considered, that was pretty damn amazing. Well done, Deep Space. Right, boy wonder, am I clear to land? Yeah. So that was the flight then of the new tune of the Deep Space Seeker 35. And honestly, Deep Space have really, really impressed me with this new tune. I thought it flew brilliantly before, but it flies even better now. And what did you think to our altercation with the security guard? Did I handle it well? I tried to be as much of an advocate as for, for the hobby as possible, whilst not backing down when I know that what I'm doing is completely legal. So if you'd have handled that any differently, please do let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna leave the CLI file for download in my Discord. There's a link in the description, but until next time, peace out. YouTube and I have had a chat, and we believe that this is the video that you'll like the most, so watch it and let me know if they're right.